Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the lovely V-stitch, which you can see here in front of you. This is a modification of a classic V-stitch, uh, but it's V-stitches interspersed between uh, rows of color and rows of spike stitches, which gives it a little bit more of a unique look that is similar on both sides. It is lacy and open. Uh, making it great for a variety of projects from bags to shawls and uh, lacy cardigans or beach cover-ups, whatever you would like. So today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a little bit of cotton yarn. This is a Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. It's a 100% yarn worsted weight. I'm going to be using two different colors, although you're welcome to alternate the color as you see fit. I'm also going to be using a 5mm crochet hook links to these items you can find in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, say hello down in the comments and let me know how you would use this stitch in a project and I look forward to reading your answers. Our stitch today is worked in rows. We're going to start by taking our color A and by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of four stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22. Once you have your desired foundation chain length, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and single crochet into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next stitch, single crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, and single crochet. Repeat that all the way across your foundation chain. When you come all the way across your foundation chain, you'll have ended with a single crochet. You have one chain left, we're going to work one final single crochet into that final chain. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row two, we're going to begin with a single crochet into the first stitch. That chain one does not count as a stitch. Chain one, skip the next single crochet, and single crochet into the next chain one space. You're now going to repeat that across. Chain one, skip the single crochet, and single crochet into the next chain one space. Repeat that all the way across, ending with a single crochet into your final stitch. In that final single crochet stitch, you're going to switch to your color B. And I'm going to keep working across and I'll show you how to change color uh, when I come up to it here. So I've come across, skip that next single crochet, single crochet in the final stitch. To change color, you're going to insert your hook, yarn over it and draw up a loop, then drop your color A, pick up your color and place it on your hook and pull through. You're now ready to continue using your color B. At the end of row two with your color B, chain four and turn your work. At this time, depending on your project, uh, you can leave that color A attached and we're going to pull it up the side as we work. 
You've chained four and turned your work with color B. We're going to uh, skip the next chain one space. And then working over top of the next single crochet, so we have a chain one here, single crochet, working over top of this stitch and into the chain stitch or the chain space down below, we're going to work a V stitch. To work our V stitch, we're going to double crochet, so we're working into this chain space, working over top of the single crochet. Pull up your double crochet so it's about to the height of a half double or double. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. Chain one, and then work another double crochet down into that chain one space. You're then going to chain one, skip the next single crochet, and then into the next chain one space, you're going to work another V stitch. So we're skipping this single crochet and V stitch and working a next V stitch into the chain space two rows below. Chain one and repeat. Skip the next single crochet into the next chain space, working over top of the next single crochet, work your V-stitch. And repeat this all the way across. Oh, I forgot to chain one. Don't forget to chain one in between. When you come to the end of the row, you're going to chain one and then double crochet into the top of that first single crochet stitch. Next, chain four and turn your work. We're now going to continue working V-stitch, continue working with your color B, and we're going to start working our first V-stitch into the chain one space of the V-stitch below. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same space. Chain one, once again, skip that next space, and again, V-stitch into the center of the next V-stitch, into the chain one space. Repeat that all the way across. And when you come to the end of your row, you're going to once again switch back to your color A. I'm here at my final V-stitch. Chain one. We're going to work our final double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. So just into that third chain, work a double crochet. You are going to switch back to our color A in this double crochet. Uh, so I've yarned over, inserted my hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, drop the color B, pick up the color A which is still attached down here at the side, carefully draw it up, you don't want to pull it too tight because you don't want it to bunch, like so, and this is only if you're going to be working and edging afterward because you will have these threads coming up, and then you're ready to begin uh, row five. For row five we're going to chain one with our color A and turn your work. Now for row five, 
we're going to single crochet into the first stitch using our color A. We're now going to double crochet into the chain four space two rows below. So we're working over top of that chain one space into the space two rows below work a double crochet stitch. Chain one, single crochet into the center of the next V-stitch into the next chain one space. Chain one, and this time long double crochet working over top of the next chain one space into the chain one space down below work a long double crochet stitch. Chain one, single crochet into the center of the next v-stitch and repeat chain one, long double crochet two rows below, chain one, and single crochet into the center of your next V-stitch. Repeat that all the way across. When you come back across you're going to single crochet, chain one. You're still going to work a long double crochet over top of the chain four and down into the chain one space down below. And then work a final single crochet stitch into your third chain. So you may have to pull it out just a little bit, but find that third chain and work your final single crochet stitch. That brings you to the end of row five. Now that's it as far as the repeat for this pattern is concerned. For the rest of the pattern you're going to repeat rows two, three, four, and five for as long as you would like. So going back to our row two, that's the chain one and turn, single crochet into that first stitch chain one, skip the next, single crochet into the next chain one space and repeat that all the way across. So that was your row two. You're going to repeat row two and then continue on three, four, and five for as long as you would like and I think this stitch is just beautiful. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye.